we got our heads together and it was decided it was worth the try to retrieve the track. Uh, it'd be much more uh, economical and a lot quicker if we could just fish it out of the, out of the bay. We immediately thought that we could recover the track uh, with floating equipment. Uh, cranes on barges would be able to, uh, working with divers, be able to pick the track back up and recover it and put it back on the bridge. We tried to start the recovery with two cranes. We were able to hook to them and lift the track out of the lake. Uh, but that was all we could do with it. We could sit there and hold it up out of the lake. We couldn't set it on the bridge or anything. We could see the third crane coming towards us and we put him in between those two cranes. Then the crane to the south could swing to the south, pull more track up on the bridge, and the crane to the north was able to use deck lines to uh, pull the track and set it down on the bridge. Eight cranes worked recovering the uh, track and the ninth crane always stayed doing bridge repairs. Once we got all the cranes that we knew we had coming by then in place that we felt it would go fairly rapidly. Despite the unprecedented obstacles, progress came quickly. Norfolk Southern reopened its line to Mobile on August 31st. And on September 13th, just 16 days after Katrina struck, the first train moved across the Lake Pontchartrain Bridge, restoring the rail connection to western carriers. The engineering challenge of doing something that had never been done before was very trying and we had to just feel our way through it until we could get our methods down to where we wanted to be, to where it would work the way we wanted it to work. And of course it's very gratifying that it all worked out the way we had planned and hoped it would. And if we had not been able to have worked our plan, it would have taken weeks to reconstruct a new track uh, in, in lieu of the damaged track that was there. So as an from an engineering standpoint, we did something that I don't think any railroad had ever done before. Norfolk Southern restored full service to the region on October 3rd when Oliver Yard and the company's intermodal terminal reopened for business. We were successful because we had things in place a week ahead of time. And we had the contacts in place through years of working with different agencies of government, uh, different contractors, having different people that we were able to contact. And because of the relationships we had built with them and the trust we had built with them, they said, yes, I'll come help you out and little things like having uh, permission to travel anywhere within the state and, and the damaged areas from the governor because of the efforts of our police department to obtain that for us uh, was crucial to our success. I didn't see anyone responding uh, as quickly to the magnitude that Norfolk Southern did. It reinforced, uh, I think, a lot that how important it is to have those good relationships folks that uh, you can depend on in, in bad times. Of the 200 Norfolk Southern employees we had on the job, none were injured on this entire project from beginning to end. And our, our contractors we had on the project, they also were safe and we didn't injure the, uh, any of our contractors also. We had a, a perfect safety record on this project and it just goes to show what Norfolk Southern people can do when faced with a challenge. They keep safety first. In Katrina's wake, Norfolk Southern employees were able to restore essential rail service to the Gulf Coast quickly through teamwork, innovative thinking, and dedicated effort. I think it's, it's what you can expect from the thoroughbreds. You know, our team really pulled together. We can be real proud of the people, all the people that have been involved in this. Uh, especially our engineering group in the, in the field, you know, their tireless efforts are putting that track back together at a record pace. Uh, you know, our folks here in Atlanta have been working around the clock to make sure that our service to our customers was not disrupted any more than absolutely necessary. Uh, our field transportation folks have made sure that that plan's adhered to in the field and it's been a, a good result to a very bad situation. It was a, a team effort all as one big family. The Norfolk Southern people, regardless of where they work or what their jobs have been, are basically all one group. 
and they know that, and they pull together when they need to pull together. And it's not something that just happened, it's something that had been generated and fostered over the years. It took uh, a lot of teamwork and innovation. Our engineering department and the people in the engineering department did a, a magnificent job uh, when they were confronted with circumstances that uh, we fortunately don't ever see or don't ever want to see. Uh, they were faced with the challenge of moving uh, people, uh, material, and machinery into an area uh, where there were no services, where the roads were largely impassable, and then using that machinery to do things that we really don't con get confronted with uh, on a regular basis, such as pull 4.8 miles of track out of a lake and put it back onto the bridge. Uh, their creativity was amazing, as well as just the plain hard work that they did uh, to get the railroad back in service. Norfolk Southern was first in to build anything and every day we wondered how we were going to get across this bridge and it's just one engineering marvel after another and, and the work that the guys have put into this is un, un, it's incredible that this bridge is open had you seen it just a week ago but they've done everything we're so far on down into the city now that's so impressive our norfolk southern people volunteered to a large extent for this work many of them worked long many long hours we had to force a lot of them off the job to go get rest and get food. They did not want to quit working. We had people who came up to me at the end of this project and thanked me for allowing them to be part of it. They said this is something they would tell their grandchildren and they were proud to be a part of it and they wish they could have done more. It was a great learning experience. We hope, uh, we hope it's something we never have to uh, do again, <laughs> all of us. We hope we we think we did something no one's ever done and we hope we never have to do it again.